Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So while playing Dragon's Dogma 2 game, if you are facing invisible floor or missing floor, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is for NVIDIA users, turn on triple buffering in NVIDIA control panel. So make a right click on the desktop and then click on show more option, then click on NVIDIA control panel. And once NVIDIA control panel is open, go to manage 3D settings. Click on manage 3D settings over here and under global settings scroll down and over here you will see triple buffering now click on this down arrow and then select on over here now once triple buffering is on set to on now on the bottom hit apply and once this is done you can launch the game and then check so let it save first it may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute once this is done now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work again go to nvidia control panel go to program settings this time click on program settings and then click on add and then go to the game installation folder or you can select the game if you see the game over here you can select the game from here or you can if you don't see the game in the list you can click on browse and then go to the game installation folder if the game installed is c drive open c drive and then open program files x86 now open the steam folder and then open the steam apps folder and then open the common folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open once the game is added over here now select high performance nvidia processor over here and then scroll down and find triple buffering and then you can select on over here and then on the bottom hit apply and once this is done now you can launch the game and then check so make sure this is saved first this may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute once that is done now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work try running the game as an administrator so make a right click select manage then click on browse local files and then make a right click on the game exe file over here and then select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator put a check over here and then hit apply click on ok you can launch the game from here or you can even launch the game from steam and then check now still not working the next step is to first of all close steam if the steam is running on the top go to steam exit steam now once steam is closed let it close first once steam is closed type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then click on open file location again make a right click on steam and then open file location and then make a right click on the steam exe file select properties and then go over here and then if this box is checked which says run this program in compatibility mode for if this is checked over here you have to uncheck this box uncheck all the boxes uncheck it uncheck this box and then click on ok and then you can launch the steam now do the same thing with the game exe file so go to steam once you launch the steam go to steam and then make a right click on the game and then select manage then click on browse local files and then make a right click on the game exe file properties go to this tab now if this is checked you have to uncheck this box and then hit apply and run the game as an administrator so if this is checked you can you have to uncheck this box and then put a check on run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game from here or you can launch the game from steam and then check you can also try this uh, you can disable full screen optimization so for this you can make a right click on the game select properties and then put a check on disable full screen optimization and then apply ok launch the game and then check now even this step is not working then the last step is to make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on this box over here and select windows 8 and then click on apply click on ok launch the game and then check but when you run the game in windows 8 then in that case uh, you might face bad performance many players are facing this in that case if you select windows 8 in the game exe file in that case go to steam make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option 
you can just type in dash dx11 and then launch launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash d3 d11 now launch the game and then check now still not working then you can remove this if this is not working then you can remove this and this time you can even try windows 7 in the game exe file so for few players instead of windows 8 windows 7 has worked over here so you can select windows 7 over here apply ok launch the game and then check now still not working the next step is to verify the game file so make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete then you can launch the game and then check if there is any corrupt file it will fix it or if there is any update let up let the update complete and then launch the game now next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your product type in my case it's geforce select your product type then select your series in my case it's 30 series make sure that you select your series and then select your graphic card over here and then if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and then click on search and then click on download and then click on download once again and once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run the exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom over here make sure that you select custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and then it will do a clean installation it will uninstall the previous version and then it will do a clean installation and then restart your computer after this you have to restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game also update your windows to the latest version so make sure that your windows is up to date so go to update and security and then or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the invisible or missing floor issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel